okay, now let's implement uh, this plugin into existing project. And for that, I will use Dynamic Combat System. And this is bundled version. So it has Mage, Archery, and Mel Combat. So same as before, we need to show engine content to have access to the files. If we click Control B on one of the files, it should take us to the folder of the plugin. Okay, now let's open a blueprint of example AI. This is the Mel AI and it inherits from base AI blueprint. This is base for all the AIs in this project. Let's add this component and this interface. And we need to implement one function from, from this uh, interface, which simply returns this component. Okay, now let's open behavior tree of this uh, AI. And the important part is now to inherit Blackboard must inherit from DAS base to get all those keys. And when we do it, we need to modify behavior tree a little. So AI in this project, when it doesn't have a target, it's either in idle or in patrol behavior. So let's say we don't need idle and make it always to be in patrol behavior. And now in behavior tree, we can remove this branch. And under patrol behavior, instead of moving some random move to points, let's run behavior uh, with das base. Okay, and now we need to modify the way how we run behavior tree. So we open AI controller of this AI. When it's possessed, it simply runs behavior tree. We need to replace it with initialization of DAS component. So we call init and we simply replace it. It will still work because initialization function runs behavior tree internally inside of it. And at this point, AI should already be compatible with DAS plugin. So let's create a simple path just to make sure it works. Okay, we can open a utility widget just to get some helper functions. And now inside AI, let's search for this component and assign one of the path points to it as an initial point. Okay, as you can see, AI is already uh, moving around the path. So let's also try to use action point. Uh, which will play simple montage. And now let's assign path point with this action point. So when AI will reach this path point, it will run action point, which plays montage. Now let's test it. And now we can do exactly the same for Mage AI and Arch AI. So let me show you how it would look like on the Mage AI example. Okay, we modify behavior tree in the same way because they're pretty similar to what we had in first AI. And let's also modify updating behavior to always be in patrol. And at this point, Mage AI would also work. And we'll, we just would have to do the same for Arch AI. 